I've written a lyric 20 years ago and then finished it, you know, this week. It's, it, there's no rule. And I've taken songs and we and just gone, you know what? I really love this lyric, but this isn't working for me anymore. I don't like this music anymore. I'm gonna, it's going to be a whole new song. Boom, yeah. it's done. Who, it's my, it's, I get to do whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, we've actually, that, I mean, that's true. We've actually seen a couple of songs already in the show that we've done for the Bare Naked Ladies where there were alternate versions or later versions and they were quite different and even yeah. completely different song titles. So that's that's extremely yes. true. Excellent yeah, I mean, answer. Really, you're, I mean, you're in charge, right? And it's sort of that giving yourself permission to mm-hmm. just make it right. Giving your permission, yourself permission to get up and do it and know that you're, you know, it may not be, it may not be finished. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? But you know, when you're a performer, you yeah. do want to you want to serve your audience. You want to be respectful, and you so you want to be professional. So you got to do something. You have to be polished or or dis- make a decision in that moment. But then you know, who's to say it's not going to change in time? You can do whatever you want. I give you permission. <laughs> All right, I'll just next time I'm I'm having doubt. I'll just say, you know what, Melanie said it was okay. So <laughs> I appreciate it. Everybody, Melanie said. <laughs> you can use that. They'll that's, don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's that's a wonderful answer. Um, now I have to ask. I'm very excited because you're a Canuck. I'm very excited to ask you about this because I'm always bringing okay. them up. But Uh-oh. Tracy and Something Michelle. I won't are, know. Yeah, go. No. no. So worried. Some hockey no, player. I don't, I, it's not going to. No, 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 no. I don't think so. <laughs> I, I don't consider it. But uh, are you a fan of the Tragically Hip? Uh, I yes, I am a fan in a, in a way. Mm-hmm. I do not know a lot of songs off the top of my head that I can sing along with, and that's just because I'm like that about everything. And I, I'm bad at remembering lyrics, and I could probably sing along without the proper words to a lot of songs. I could mm-hmm. probably play bass to a lot of things, um, but I, I didn't ever go to a show. And I guess I'd have to, you know, maybe a, a real fan would say, "Well, then you're not a fan." Um, I don't. I, think, I'm I, not. I'm not a fan. I'm not, no pun intended. But I'm not a fan of uh, setting boundaries like that. You know. Well, so I, I'm a fan in 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 uh, out of respect and and admiration in, in that sense, absolutely. And um, you know, I met Gord a few times and wow. just think he's a wonderful, you know, what a wonderful person, amazing legacy and the work and everything that he's done. And so that that's all undeniable. And um, you know, I wish I had seen him. I just hadn't. I don't. I, yeah. I don't. I haven't seen. I haven't seen a lot of people. I'm one of those people that. Maybe I don't get out much. I'm not sure. Um, I tend to see stuff when I'm also working or performing, and then I'm kind of living life. And you know, I've got kids, and I'm home, and I'm doing stuff. And I'm, I'm not a out at a show every night type mm. of person. And uh, maybe growing up in Halifax, <laughs> we didn't have a lot of. <laughs> well, there's we didn't that. Have a lot of big tours coming through. I mean, yeah. a, lot a lot of, of people, moths, but, but not tours. A lot of people that grew up with me, <laughs> they would see anything that did come. But I, I wasn't in the loop on all of the, you know, the very few shows that did make it all the way to Nova Scotia. Um, I didn't get out to them, so that wasn't something I uh, was always trying to do. So it, it's just not part of my yearly schedule of which shows am I going to see. So mm. I'm, I'm not, I'm an oddball that way. I'm not a normal person. <laughs> So well, I'm I'm, I'm I'm sort of introverted, so I can relate to staying at home a lot and just working on stuff and and you know working on recording and things. Um, and I, I admit, I myself never saw them. Unfortunately, I would have loved to, but I I do enjoy a lot of their music, and I, I'm just excited to talk to someone who knows who they are because I'm always bringing two bands that I'm always bringing up in comparison when we talk about BNL That's are cool. they they might yeah. be giants and the tragically hip, Ooh, and uh, I think feel like. Tracy and Michelle are always kind of like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> He's educating yeah, us on sense. them while we're that's educating good. him on BNL. Yeah, because <laughs> that's true. I am the least, by far, the least knowledgeable person about v, uh, BNL in the in the show. But I, I've been certainly enjoying all the music that I've been exposed to and um, and all the opportunities you know that it affords to talk to people like you. So this, it's been a, a real uh, a real pleasure working on this. Oh, that's really cool. So you mentioned education, and I don't know if I, pardon me because I came in a little late here, but uh, have you have you guys talked about U School? We have not. No, we haven't yet. I want to hear about U School. 
Yeah, so how did that come about? How did in 2009 you were you were doing pretty successful with these albums and you were really going strong and you start up U school. Like how did that happen? Well, I started it uh for my kids. They were they were little they were, well, they were in grade 1 and 3, I think. And I wanted to do something that was um even just a little taste of what my dad had given us in our city of Halifax because he was mm. uh he was a big music educator in our town and had created a very huge program in our schools and it was a really wonderful place to grow up. And I wanted to do something that was even just the tiniest bit the same as that. I wanted to give them a taste of the ukulele program and some of what he had done for us in our city. So I, I volunteered at their school and the school was uh, kind enough to allow me to come in um, and what I proposed to them was that I would come for 30 weeks of the year. I would come in every week um, and work with this group that I was going to start. And then I also said further to that, I would really like to come next year too, because I'd like to take these kids to the next, you know, to the advanced group. And then I'd like to start new beginners next year. So anyway, they agreed that I could do this, do this program and do a pilot project. And, um, you know, I, I, of course, uh, had my dad giving me great advice and I have a sister, like I mentioned, who's a teacher and um, everything went very well. The kids did great and I loved doing it. And um, I was able to use all, all of the stuff from my dad's program. And um, then the second year we had two groups and then the third year we had three groups. And then I, <laughs> mm. another school, another school, and you know, I said, well, how do we get this program? You know, some parents were like, we, we caught wind of this. How do we get this? <laughs> so I thought, well, I guess I could go down the road and do it. You know, it wouldn't hurt me to do one over there. And it's, you know, I've already done all the preparation. I'm just teaching it now. I just go in and may as well do that. And then, um, then there was another school and then another couple of more schools. And then I got one of my friends to, who had grown up in Halifax. She was, in the school board. And I said, well, maybe you could teach a few. And so we kind of got coordinated on how we were going to do the method. And, and then we both started to do some more classes. And then we moved in another friend from, from the East coast who was also here. Anyway, it quickly, it was growing, growing, growing. And, um, as we mentioned earlier, just as we were getting into the beginning of this, um, so we started with eight kids, I think the first year, and now we have just about 900 uh, uh, every week that we're teaching. So it's really grown a lot. <laughs> it's really t- <laughs> taking a lot of my brain and I'm loving it. It's just been an amazing experience. So my son, Oh, sorry about that. Aaron. <laughs> so my son has just learned the power of the ukulele, uh, through classes that were brought to his school. Um, I, I personally can't connect with him through it because I, I have no musical ability at all. These guys will tell you that. Um, but I love the practice videos that you have online on you school. Um, Oh yeah. Did you check it out? Yeah. I can help my son practice and improve. And it's really cool. Cause I can play it with him and, or can't play oh. the ukulele, but I can play the videos for him and watch him learn. Great. What makes you decide to kind of expand to the internet? And like, do you plan on making it expand further? Do you plan on doing more videos? Well, you know, the, those videos are not, particularly, um, well, they're not meant to be in place of the lessons that we do at, right. I- in the school. Um, I mean, some adults could probably figure out what to do watching them. They're pretty, I mean, they're, they're fairly, it's good instruction, but it's not meant to be um, lessons online. And the reason right. that is, is because what I'm particularly passionate about is being in the school with the kids for 30 weeks. That's that's part of why it's working so well is that we make that commitment to be there every week of the school year. Like once we start, we start in October, but it's, we follow the school year and we're there every week. And that is part of why it's working so well, but music is not easy. It's not easy to learn an instrument and you need to have that commitment from somebody. Um, We try to model it to our teachers by being there every week, but we also try to give the parents a lot of support so they can be, um, giving that at home and even for people like you're saying you're not a musician well then what would you do if you didn't have some tools from us the teachers 
how would you help your child practice if you didn't feel like you had a lot of mm. musical background? So I wanted to give some tools so parents could sit with their kids and enjoy the process of what's happening in class. And then they can just put me on and I'm like, this is what we did in class, everybody. <laughs> and they can show. And even if they can't play, but they can tune up with me. So we're going to tune everybody. Don't mm. forget to do this. And I even tell actually sometimes, and it is hard to tune an instrument and I wouldn't expect everyone to be able to, but also, you know, just call, I'll do it with you on the phone. Call me up. I'll, t- I'll help you tune your instrument. This is part of learning music. You have to, it, it takes time. You're not, expe- you shouldn't feel bad if you're not a musician and you can't, you know, you're like, Oh, I can't tune the instrument. This is going to be, this is going to be a disaster. Well, no, you're not, you're not supposed to know that. I'm the teacher. Call me up. We'll help you. Um, so I tried to I tried to think of all the as many things as I can to give some sort of support so that everyone can have a good time with music because what a gift it is you know what an amazing thing oh, to yeah. be able to play music in your life and if you can play it at home with your family if you can play it with your friends and if you can have it for the rest of your life um, it's really a profound thing and um, we we take it really seriously we have a ton of fun. But we, we take the fact that we have the privilege of delivering this message uh, very, very seriously. So that's why we did the what videos. A, and uh, I don't know. Well, what a, little bit what a great way to expand your program and to incorp- yeah, you know, enca- enca- encapsulate the parents into that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's essential. And, and you, can't, you can't get anywhere without support when you're learning. It, it's a tricky thing to learn music. It's, it's not easy. Mm. And, and the more support you have, the more fun you're going to have, and the more you're going to be able to go with it, the further you'll be able to go. And um, and when you have support from home, I mean, we can see when parents are engaged, we know which children are right away having parents who are like, we want them in this mm-hmm. program, and they're so excited, and they're like, we're going to practice, and we're going to, oh, and when you, in a couple of years, we'll buy you a nicer instrument because you're doing so well, and we can see the difference. So it, it, I feel like it's my job to to... You know, some some people didn't have music in their families. They don't know they don't know the power of it. So if I can somehow reach to those families that maybe didn't have it and say, you know what, try it. Sit with here's the video. Sit with your child when it's practice time and and have fun together. You're going to enjoy. Just let them show off. Let them show you what they can do. Put me on and I'll talk them through. I'll take them through the skills and they can just show you their stuff. They're going to be beaming and then you just tell them how great they are. And, you know, start there, see what happens. And then we see, like, you know, we see that that same child that might have, you know, you can tell the parents were tentative, but you can see the difference a couple weeks later when the parents start to realize, oh, well, we did, we started to review at home. It's going very well. Or, Thanks for the support. And, and that child starts to excel in the class, and it's really great. I mean, it's so exciting. Yeah, and by the way, uh, if you're listening at home, you can check out the website at uschool. That's the letter U and then the word school.ca. Very cool website. You can see a video involving the Bare Naked Ladies, for instance. And I see on the website <laughs> here, students have performed with Sarah McLaughlin, the Bare Naked Ladies, of course. And uh, I, before even a musician, I'm probably a nerd. And so I'm really happy to see Chris Hadfield and really oh, jealous good. to see Chris Hadfield listed on there, one of my favorite Canadians as well. Um, super, who broke the internet famously a few years back with his cover of David Bowie's Space Oddity from the International Space Station. So that's yeah. that's really super cool. I'm, uh, I think that's a really, 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 awesome program and um i think that's really awesome that you would uh, that you would do that oh, well thank you for that and i hope uh, if people take a look they'll see just how wonderful it was that the naked ladies gave their time and, and oh, yeah. came in the studio with us and and supported the program and it has just uh, meant the world to me how do people go about donating to this wonderful cause you can just come to uschool.ca and check out the video and you can hear the song that we did together and if you feel like donating, you just press, press the donate button. That's it. Nice and easy. And nice and any easy. Any donations? Yeah, we will be most uh, appreciative of any donations. We, what we're doing right now is um, trying to reach the kids who are on our waiting list. We've got a lot of. What we do is go right into the schools. So we we take our program to all the public schools, and we've got schools waiting for us to start programs at their location. And we do that because we want to reach all the neighborhoods and kids where they live, because a lot of families 
who aren't going to have opportunities to do instrumental music. A lot of the reasons they can is because it's cost prohibitive, or also they can't travel after school. The, the parents might be working, and kids can only really do programs at their own school, and then they get picked up and they go home. But 